Hello, hello guys, welcome. Welcome to Software Testing Guide by Jamil. And today's topic is boundary analysis testing. So what is boundary analysis testing? Uh, this is a form of black box testing as mentioned previously in my tutorial. Uh, and uh, it really doesn't care about the internal path of uh, code or how it works internally. I mean, all in this case, all we care is the uh, valid and invalid partition. So invalid testing. So uh, you have a, I mean, you have a set of values which have a minimum and maximum uh, a boundary or partition. So you know you could have it from as in, uh, from ten to twenty. So all we care that it accepts the values between ten and uh, twenty, and we test the lower side of the boundary, the actual boundary, and the upper side and the above the boundary. Um, I mean, uh, so it's testing various ranges, uh, uh, ranges of uh, values, uh, which stops the exhaustive testing and just con concentrate on, trace on the values that actually matter. So, you know, we don't have to go test every single number uh, in the range, but just test uh, the numbers that matter. So we got boundary here, which is the, uh, uh, pass marks for an exam. Uh, so you got pass mark of 40, which is our boundary. So it will contain three tests. So the first test for us is uh, what happens when student gets a mark of 40. So boundary is 40. So that's our first test case for that. So in that case, when we put that in, when we're testing that, put that in for in, so we should get a uh, output as a result pass yeah and then the second test case for us again is uh, above the boundary so upper side of boundary which is 41 so upper side of boundary 41 in that sense uh, we should still get a result of pass so that's our uh, upper side of boundary so on the other side of the boundary and now we're going to go the lower side of the boundary so which is a lower side of boundary which is 39 so in that sense we should get a fail right so um, it's as simple as that. I mean, it's quite useful uh, for using, uh, testing the boundary. So it doesn't have to be exhaustive testing. I mean, again, we could expand that too. So say your 60% is the pass mark is a merit. So if I do uh, merit equals 60, again, now our boundary changes so our pass mark so our testing now involves if we're expanding it first i involves four uh, we got test case of 39 which fails then we got test case of 40 which passes 41 again passes so with the merit we're again going to test the both sides so first if you test the lower side of the boundary of merits which is Lower side of merit boundary analysis, which is 59, that should again be a pass. Now, if we test the actual boundary of merit, which is 60, that would again, the output result should be a merit yeah now if we test the upper side of the boundary uh, which is 61 again this should be a pass i mean you could expand that into distinction where you have a, a 50 to a 60 uh, sorry 80 percent so 79 should still give us very 80 should give us a distinction and 81 should again give us a distinction uh, so uh, and again if it's 100% it should still be a distinction so 
it just yeah all right guys let's uh, wrap up so just to wrap up i mean uh, i personally use this a lot uh, in uh, financial test uh, software testing where we're testing the uh, boundary of for example um, mortgages so a uh, certain mortgage say uh, buy to let mortgages where allows you a minimum of 60 months mortgage and maximum of 300 months uh, and anything uh, anything above that above 300 uh, doesn't let you have the mortgage anything below 60 doesn't let you have the mortgage so testing the boundaries of that um, I've done that quite often um, again you could also use it as a, as, deter as shown by my example um, to determine the grading in the exams um, I mean like I said it, it, it would it checks the ranges in the system so what range is acceptable what range isn't acceptable uh, so if you have any questions, uh, drop me a drop me a, um, a message in the comments. Uh, just make sure you like my channel and subscribe to it, uh, and hit the bell button to get the latest update. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.